I've thought about this and there's only one word to us that describes this place and that's utopia. It's absolutely fantastic here. This might sound stupid to you, but I think this will lengthen my life because where I was lonesome sometimes, I feel happy inside since I've been in the McCarthy Stone. It was a bit of a, a shock when um, Ted said, I think we should move. <laughs> You'd done all the research before, you know, without, really without me knowing. Before dropping the bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> everyone just made us so welcome and everyone was lovely. There, there was nobody that we thought, oh, don't want to be living with him or her. What I wanted was the flexibility to say, well, OK, I'm renting in two years' time, three years' time. I might be looking at moving somewhere else. Sort of McCarthy and Stone would have another development in a, a different location so I could actually move. In the summer we had um, Elvis night. He had his flashing lights going. Everyone was up dancing and it got hot so went out to the, um, the patio and people were walking past looking in. Oh, there was old people doing in there. <laughs> It's not like an old people's home. Well, it isn't an old people's home. It's retirement living. An awful lot of Prosecco is drunk. We have an awful lot. And in fact, we call it Prosecco Palace. <laughs> There's always plenty of people about. Even if you're just going shopping, you'll see at least two people to say good morning to. We, we're much happier. Well, I am. <laughs> Yes, I mean, I did have some doubts. What, what am, am I going, going to, to do? do? You know, stuck in a, in a two-bedroom apartment all day long with nothing to do and now no I'm garden. working out, when am I going to get a break? Yes. 